These are the PCI sliding seat rails for the AP1S2000 driver's seat. And these are from Rogue Motorsports and supposed to be modified to be the pole position, uh, Recaro pole position specific setup. So I bought this kit a couple years ago and it's been sitting new in box in my garage for all that time until now. I just haven't had the time to take on this project and make a comparison uh, as far as putting this together and seeing how the mounting is in the car compared to what I've been running. If you guys have been following the channel, you know I tracked this car quite a bit from 2017 to 2021. Uh, the end of 2021 was my last event to date, and I've been running Buddy Club sliders. Done very well, but over the years, you can see there's a problem now. This is how much play. It looks more on the left side, has a more than desirable amount of play. Uh, and you can see when I put them in, you know, I made a DIY on my channel. I used tons of white lithium grease on the slider and hammered down the floor, hump on that side. So the shell of my pole position is actually touching the floor in the rear. And so at 6.3, I fit in this car with plenty of room with a helmet onto the roll bar. And I usually take this cushion out and set my butt on the fiberglass shell way down here, which is touching the floor uh, when I go to the track. So plenty of headroom, but uh, today I'm gonna be making a comparison to the pole position uh, seat rail from Rogue Motorsports on PCI sliders to see if you can get the seat as low in the car and to see how much more sturdy this is. This allows you to run a six point harness a lot easier as well than the Buddy Club rails. And the fact that the whole base is one piece already is a stronger design than the uh, Buddy Club ones because they're split on each side and there's no center uh, bracing to connect them. This, with the uh, being a single piece, should take a lot of the struggles of the alignment out to mount this in the car, since this is pretty much a fixed template that should drop down in all four holes, should line up without binding the rail. I mentioned this is the pole position specific seat mount from Rogue Motorsports, and this is the PCI kind of single page exploded view you get when you buy it. Um, if you guys want to pause the video and read this, you can do so now. I'm not gonna to refer to this too much, but I'm gonna use this as a guide for what I'm gonna film here for just throwing it all together. But these are your main components. You have the pole position specific seat rails on the side. These have been sitting in my garage for so long and it's been so humid in here that these threads here have rusted. Uh, but I believe those are the only raw uh, chased tap threads. And I think all they do is mount these PCI uh, bl uh, brackets on each side. So. I don't think it's that important anyway, but you got the base piece obviously with this revised design. And I don't know if this is the latest design still, maybe they changed it in the last two years, but they used to have, this has like holes for your harnesses to clip into, but this is a welded bar now that you can clip your harnesses onto and it can slide to wherever it needs to go. Detailed look at how the rails mount on the base piece. There are eight bolts included and they have nylon lock washers and it's very tricky um, you might be able to slide the rail off but i didn't want to disassemble it so i have one of these magnetic uh, you know extending tools and i just slid you know the nuts are not stainless so i was able to grab a nut just like that and then take it and insert it into the inside of the rail to the right distance until i met up with these bolts and lock it down because if you look in there some of them go back pretty far into this channel. But you'll notice that there's two different width settings you can choose with this, this base piece. I assume that's to suit narrower race seats. Um, I'm obviously, pole position is one of the wider seats you can put in your car. These bolts have a 13 millimeter head, which is a little strange. Push down on the rear of this. You can slide this out like that. And install that through. So you do that, you wanna drop your spacer over top of it and then you can drop your position specific mount over top of that put two of the included flat washers on there and then your nylon locking hex nuts i already realized i did this wrong the holes the side with the holes should be towards the rear of the car so this is on the front side because this is where the harness mounts so I'm gonna have to flip that bracket to the other side because this is the correct bracket to go over there. That's how it looks corrected. 
This is the passenger side of the car, and that's where the OEM seatbelt mounting tab goes for your seatbelt extender. Previously, I had my e-manage cord running all the way back, and the e-manage mounted on this piece of Velcro here, and it was, was turned kind of like that, straight forward. Uh, but with this uh, seat rail, I didn't think I would actually even be able to keep the e-manage underneath the seat rail because it's got the front uh, bar and whatnot for the harness. But uh, I put some new Velcro down and I poked some zip tie holes through the carpet right here and here to keep this cord forward more because I plan to have the bottom of the seat mashed into the carpet back here and still be able to slide it forward a little bit, but hopefully it doesn't go past this wire. This is what it's going to look like with the bracket in the car. Wasn't really able to do this with the buddy club rails because they were separate pieces, but the tolerance and the slot holes on the PCI rail are significantly smaller than the buddy club. The buddy club, you used very, very large washers because the welding tolerance and everything and the split rail design required a lot of slop. But now that you have this bottom weldment as one piece, you can hold tolerances really tight. This is what I'm talking about with the E-Manage. This is my plan. Um, obviously the cord's far forward and you know this tucks nicely underneath the bracket. There's a gap underneath here and there's probably an eighth inch between this bar and the E-Manage housing right here. The E-Manage kind of has a crowned profile on the top, so if I were to push it further back, this uh, part right here would hit. So I have it far forward. The uh, back side of the, or I should say the side of the E-Manage is flush with the back side of this cross member right here. So that's kind of just how it looks in the car and how I plan to run it. Uh, if you were going to run your harness is clipped on here up through your seat. You still would not interfere with the E-Manage. So that's really cool if I do want to do that in the future. Taking a look at the Buddy Club rail, you'll see I have the front slot and the second from the bottom. Same with the rear. It's second from bottom. It's right in the middle. It's kind of slid more forward on the slots. And then it's on the back side of this slot, kind of. The seat rail is not made specific for the pole position. It fits a ton of seats. Check out this seat play. So quite a bit of play in that left rail, a little bit in the right, but way worse on the left side. But I have them kind of positioned where I think it would be slid back all the way in the car in my natural driving position here. And just wanted to give you a look at where the bottom of the seat lands. It's actually touching the ground in the middle there, as you can see. And it's actually rocking a little bit on the seat, but it's almost flush with the ground at this point. So what I'm gonna do is set the PCI rail on the ground here, mount the seat to it, and see kind of what slot I need to choose. There's a lot more adjustment options on the PCI rail. And see if I can get it this low to pretty much touching the ground before I get it in the car, because that'll give me a really quick indication if you can get the seat as low with the PCI rails as you can with these Buddy Club rails. It's a little, uh, little alarming, a little disappointing at first here to see that there's like over a half inch gap and I can't slide this any closer. You can see this bracket slides back and forth here and it's hitting this, the shell of the seat right now and this is how much gap you have to the, uh, the seat. So the front seems to be, you can kick it over and you can get it pretty close because the PCI seat rail comes with four of these plastic spacers, which I assume are used to offset that distance, but you're gonna need more than this thickness if you wanna if you wanna fit it in between there. So other side is about the same. As you can see, the rail is pushed over all the way, and you have maybe a three eighths gap on this side and half inch on the other. Um, and then the front, same deal over here. You can kick that over and get a spacer in there. But the problem is the rear if you want to get it that low. So what I'm going to try to do now is put this bracket on the other side and swap the other bracket to this side to see if there's any difference with how it aligns to the seat. You can see now I got the rails threaded on backwards, uh, the backwards from the traditional way. I don't have a ton of faith this is going to work or this is the right way to do it. These bolts right here are going to be very hard to tighten properly if this does work, so we'll figure that out in a minute. Unfortunately, I have to report, just like I was thinking that this didn't help really at all, kind of stayed just about the same. That's the gap 
you have now. My whole finger can fit in that gap because you try to kick this over. Now your formed edge is hitting the seat. You can still get the top or the front piece over close enough to the seat to where one of those spacers will be effective. All right, so brackets flip back around the normal way now. Pushing all the way over, just taking another look, and now I got a light on it. Looks like if the front half of the back of this bracket were notched in a little bit, I'd be able to bring this bracket closer to the seat. Same with this side if it were notched in. What I'm thinking of doing is notching that out a little bit as opposed to running a super thick spacer in there just so I can get this kick this back part of this rail over to be even with how far over the front is get this a little closer to the seat without having to raise the seat to an uncomfortably high position so here's what I'm thinking guys I just marked it with silver sharpie um, come in at an angle with an angle grinder and cut the bracket pretty close to the end of just the front slot I mean, if you look at the buddy club rails the slots on these go just about almost to the edge of the bolt there. You can see how the bolt head's actually overhanging the edge of the buddy club rail uh, slot there. So I'm not too concerned that this is gonna cause any strength issues by any means, but if you notch this out, you're gonna get yourself maybe a quarter inch on each side to bring these in to where you're probably gonna be very close to being able to use one of these spacers, but you might wanna toss in um, an extra washer on top of this just so you're not bowing these brackets at an angle you want it to be flush on the top of the spacer all the way around the circumference of the spacer you want it to be flush to the seat and to the bracket and not at an angle so look at how i modified the brackets you can see just notched out that little area still left a little material at the end of the slot so that when the washers clamp down on there over all that surface area it's not going to affect it at all this is how it looks with it out here i still have a little bit of contact so i can just smooth out that edge with the belt sander when i bump this bracket over but uh, take a look at how much that helped out the recaro pole position has a uh, glued on washer the ng model this one's from 2017 it might be different now i don't know but that gives you just enough clearance to get that spacer in there just perfect on the passenger side with this pushed over all the way and then on this side you can see the bolts are all the way to the left in the slot. So it's very far away from the edge I cut. And um, the, the closer you bolt this down to this bend radius, the stronger the connection is. There's less area for it to bend. The seat is literally, no, no bolts are holding it in. So it's, it's laying on the floor, uh, which is what the uh, same surface the seat rail is contacting right now. And what seat hole am I using? You'll see right here, it is the front uh, row of drilled holes, and the second one from the bottom is where the pole position seems to line up. And up front, for the right recline angle, just visually looking at it, I may change my mind later, but it looks like the third hole there from the bottom, I should say the third slot from the bottom, is going to work out perfect. With the rail in the car, you can see I got everything lined up just threw some bolts loose in up front but with the fourth from highest hole in the rear and in the middle third from bottom on the front the bottom of the seat has maybe a finger maybe less than a maybe a, a pinky finger less than a pinky fingers gap to the bottom of the floor so it's not exactly as low as i had it with the buddy club it's it's going to be very hard you can't really see underneath here and it's harder for me to to tell because you got your harness bar attachment right here and i can't reach my finger and my arm back through here I, I can see daylight through it so i think i can get this rail one notch lower but if i go one notch lower i'm probably going to want to drop down to the second from top up front here um, one other comment is i think you know since the seat is so freaking low in the car now I don't like the way this top of this back part of the bracket rides up into the nice uh, filleted uh, relief for the seat belt. If you run it up over, it's gonna have like a sharp, not a sharp, but a non-uniform contact point with this metal bracket on the seat belt. Same with this side, see how much it sticks up. So once I get this into the final position that I want it, I'm probably gonna mark at the same angle the seat belts are and make a cut and deburr it and smooth it out so the seat belt rides up 
nice and smooth along this uh, cutout for the Recaro uh, routing here. So keep that in mind that uh, you don't even want any abnormal stress points on the seatbelt. Another thing I'm noticing is how close the edge of the seat rail gets to the carpet and the side of the car here. And it kind of, in its full back position right now, it's halfway over the, the hole for the OEM seatbelt. Um, so I've always ran this rubber protector on it throughout the years. And you can see the damage from catching when the buddy club rails caught on it, sliding past it. But the buddy club rails, you know, because if you look at this, it's like three quarters of an inch thick down there. And there's no way I have that much room down there with the PCI rail. So I'm thinking I'm going to remove this rubber protector because this steel mount plate pops out from behind it. The distance I'm talking about here with the fourth hole uh, from the bottom on the side and the rear, you can see when it's laying flat on the concrete. So you do have less than an eighth inch of gap to the bottom, um, but that would be compressing carpet a little bit. And you can see it slides freely under the rest of the seat. So if I drop down another uh, row on the rail here, that's gonna be, the seat's probably gonna contact the concrete first and, and have the rails in the air. But I'm gonna try it. We're chopping off the top three holes, right tangent to this third hole down at the angle that the seat belt cutout is. This is kind of how the brackets look that I cut uh, for the seat belt painted them already so they got a nice radius edge there's no sharp edge for the seat belt anymore and they can go cleanly into the holes third from the bottom in the rear second slot from the bottom in the front the bottom of the seat hangs lower than the mounting surface of the brackets and it is fitting i have the bolt secured in the back there just sat in it and slid it back and forth and didn't seem like it was getting too bound up on the height setting it's at, so that drops it down another quarter inch from the fourth from the bottom where everything looked like it had a little clearance underneath. So unfortunately, I ran into another problem. With that bolt in on that side, this bolt, as you can see, you cannot get thread started because the slot is a little bit off. I got a Dremel out towards this side, more material, and repaint that edge as well. This is a nice wrinkle black powder coating, so that's a shame that I gotta widen that slot for it to fit. In addition to that, the only way I could get the seat belt, the OEM seat belt to clear and work in this area is by cutting, very carefully cutting this very wide protector area off. This rail comes even closer to the edge of the car here, so there's less and less room for that seat belt. And you can see how the rail down there goes about an inch past where the seat belt is so going forward and sliding backwards I'm gonna have to do something here to make sure this the rail doesn't catch the edge of the seat belt and start fraying it over time so that's a little bit of a disappointment I know that this rail is in the widest setting if you moved it in one it would move this whole piece that way significantly more However, you couldn't get the Recaro pole position as low because it pretty much in the widest setting, you can see the, con the seat contacts the rail here and it contacts just about kisses the rail on this side. So this is pretty much what you're stuck with. Now with that slot over here, perfectly lined up and I ran a bolt into it. I dremeled out this one just a little bit. I can just get a bolt started concentric on it now, but you can see down there how it oval out that slot. I wrapped it in a couple wraps here of a, a Gorilla Tape and flattened the bracket out. It used to have more of an angle, which protrudes into the PCI rail. Here's a final look at everything reinstalled into the car. This video right now is being shot after Watkins Glen 2023, so I have an event on this setup already. So here's a detailed look at how much clearance again there is. There's a little bit and just gotta be careful when you slide back that you're not catching an edge there. Definitely a very tight fit to get everything just dialed and right. The seat is mashed against the floor. This is kind of a look at how much lower you are than the uh, roll hoop, the factory roll hoop, the Recaro pole position. So even with the seat mashed against the floor, still have full sliding ability. Nothing is binding at all, and everything still feels very, very tight. So super happy with this setup. Clicks into position with the seat all the way back. Felt great on track, like I said. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Please give the video a like. Comment below your thoughts. 
and uh, I'll see you in the next one.